Hi, and welcome to Chat Central. Today, we're in conversation with one of the most inspirational leaders of our times. He is in his elected term, third term, as the mayor for the city of Vancouver. Please welcome Mr. Gregor Robertson. Hi, Gregor, welcome. Nice to be with you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to Darpen Magazine. It's my pleasure. So, Gregor, starting off, um, now, like I mentioned, this is your third term as a mayor for the city of Vancouver. Um, and the city has witnessed some tremendous changes in the recent past. Mm -hmm. If you had to look back and reflect on some of the progress, um, what would you say? Well, I'd say in uh, recent years, we've become the most uh, economically powerful city in Canada. We've had the most economic growth of any city in Canada and incredible job growth in these recent years. Uh, basically coming out of the Olympics, I think we've, uh, we've hit our stride. Mm -hmm. Very diverse economy, uh, technology, tech and innovation are really powering our growth as a city. Uh, creative industries and green jobs are very big, so it's uh, which is good news, I think, for young people. We're attracting uh, young people from around the world, uh, lots of talent and entrepreneurs, which is very exciting for the city's future. We're building companies, we're, uh, we're leading city in many respects in uh, industries that are the fastest growing in the world right now. So that's exciting. Very, very yeah. exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. Very well said. Um, now, one of the challenges that has uh, been at the forefront is affordable housing. True. Because uh, there are so many new residents every year that come into the city of Vancouver. So what is the, um, how do we sort of address that issue? Well, first of all, by building more, lots more housing. Mm -hmm. we've, had, uh, we've had record levels of construction activity. These last few years have been very busy for uh, development which, uh, you know, it means change for neighborhoods. Some people are sensitive to that, uh, but it's some, we have to do it if we're going to mm -hmm. grow as a city and, and we're going to deal with affordability. Absolutely. Because, uh, if, the, if the supply is very limited, uh, it's a problem. It doesn't, affordability is very, very difficult to achieve, and we're, I'm worried about it for young people in particular. People on, you know, average incomes, it's mm -hmm. getting more difficult, certainly difficult to buy a place. Absolutely. In, in around, uh, all over Metro Vancouver now, not just in, the, in this core city, but we have to make sure we're building a lot. Uh, we have to work with the provincial and federal mm -hmm. government to make sure uh, the people that need uh, subsidy. Um, very crucial, it, yes. It's very crucial. It has to come from those levels of government. So we're very focused on it. It's our, our most important issue at the city. Uh, we hear every day about people's challenges and we take care of the land use and approve uh, a lot of, of the development, so we have to make sure we're, we're doing our best on that. Absolutely, fingers crossed. <laughs> now, um, one of the recent developments for the South Asians was uh, our pioneer, uh, Jack Opel, was honored by having a street named after him, uh, which really talks about the multiculturalism and inclusiveness that BC holds. Sure. Um, what are your thoughts on that? It was a great honor to be part of uh, a historic occasion and to have uh, Jack's family, the Opal family was here and we had a great community celebration. Many, many uh, great leaders from the community came forward and, and, and it isn't just about South Asian community. It's very important to recognize uh, mm -hmm, absolutely. what Jack brought to the whole city for all Vancouver. It's a legacy, absolutely. It's a huge legacy and, and not only, I mean, as, as, a, as an entrepreneur and the business and all the people he employed, but he was, uh, he was very giving, took care of a lot of people and, and, and newcomers to Vancouver and he fought hard against racism and discrimination, fought for the right for South Asians to vote. Those are, it's hard to imagine now yeah. the times, uh, how difficult it was uh, for our predecessors here uh, of different cultures and Jack worked through that and uh, it's good to be able to recognize his achievements and Huge honor. contributions. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, now another recent development was the policy that was granted by the city of Vancouver called Access Without Fear. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What kind of impact do you think the policy will have on all the residents of Vancouver? I expect it, to, uh, well it particularly focuses on making sure that people who uh, who are afraid of, uh, they've had uh, immigration issues, yeah. uh, maybe their work permit has expired, uh, some unforeseen circumstances in many cases, uh, and they won't seek city services, mm -hmm. whether that's the police or the library, yeah. uh, recreational services, they, they won't do that for fear of, of their information being turned over to yeah. Canadian Border Services and deportation. So, as a city, our commitment is now to make sure we're, we're protecting those people. We will make sure people have access to city services without the fear of that happening uh, unintentionally or not. So I, I think there's, 
it's, it's good for newcomers. This is a city of newcomers. People come from all over the world to be here. It's really an encouragement, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and we want, uh, we want new people here and immigration. Uh, we have to be careful how we do that, and we'll work with the federal government as well to make sure that uh, you know, it's in sync with immigration policy. And the uh, most important thing is to keep people safe and make sure that uh, they're not in danger. And that, that's, part of, that's the main concern behind access absolutely. to fear, is making sure that if there's a situation where people should be accessing the city services. Then they have, yeah, then they have all the access they can to feel safe. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, before we let you go, uh, I know that you've always been an integral part of Visakhi, which is a huge festival for Sikhs here. Um, absolutely. This year, what are, your, what are your expectations or what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking for, it's one of my favorite days because uh, it always seems to be sunny. Uh, by the time the parade starts, sometimes in the morning you, you don't know, but it, somehow the sun comes out year after year. And uh, the food, I always look forward to the food, is so exceptional. This year, um, I'm looking forward to, we're, we're going to do a, a green baisaki. So we're working with a number of partners, Kalsa Devan Society and Van City. Uh, we're doing a big effort on recycling and composting and reducing the amount of garbage. Yes, very important. Because there is a lot. Yes. It's like It's like the one... One you want to change. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and this, with all that beautiful food and sharing, uh, we want to make sure we, we reduce the amount of garbage that's created and the mess that, that happens in places when the garbage cans overflow. So that's I'm looking forward to that and making it a clean green event. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually be a it's kind of a, a pioneer event this way. So yes. what we learn at Baisaki, what the community achieves, can be taught to other big events. And we promote so, that on such a big day at all levels, yeah, right? No, that is, makes sense. Yeah, because we want to do that with the Festival of Lights, yes. the fireworks, which is another messy affair. Uh, we want to reduce the garbage and keep our city clean. And uh, Baisaki will be leading the city now in this, which is which is great. No, a lot of people actually look forward to seeing you at the Baisaki and taking pictures and just yeah. you having a part of this big festival. It's really, really a great thing. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so are we. Thank you, Gregor. Thanks for talking to Durban Magazine. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for watching Chat Central.